If you break this shell, you will no more be a person, but simply a presence. As God is, if you are going in circles, you can only see three feet in front of you. If you are a person, that means you have made a shell out of yourself. You formed a shell. Within that shell only you can operate. If you break this shell, you will no more be a person, but simply a presence. As life is, as God is. So yoga means slowly you are working on making the shell thinner and thinner, more and more porous, that one day you can exist without a shell. All aspects of physicality are cyclical in the universe. Planets are going around the sun, the solar system are moving. Everything in the galaxy, in the cosmos is cyclical. The more and more you are identified with your physical system, the more and more cyclical you are also. Your experiences are cyclical, the process of life is cyclical. If you watch carefully enough, even the situations that you face in your life come in cycles. So yoga means on one level to break the cycle of life. What is a circle right now? We want to open it up and make it a straight line. Because if you are going in circles, it just gives you an impression that you are going somewhere, but you are not really going anywhere, you are going through the same thing again and again. So yoga means to open up the circle and stretch it out like a straight line, that if you follow the line, you go somewhere, you are not going round and round. You might have been doing sadhana for two years, three years, five years. You stop your sadhana for three months and see, your hands will just grab just about anything and put it in the mouth. These compulsions will suddenly come back. If you just break the sadhana, because nature is not going to release you so simply, you have to work at it and work at it and work at it. Otherwise, you must be happy doing the circle. A circle also can be described as a circus. If you become conscious, the whole thing looks like a circus. If you are not conscious, you can only see three feet in front of you, then it's all real. If you open up and see the whole circle, the way you're going, it looks like a circus and definitely you don't want it to continue forever. You want to do something about it. So these cycles, these repetitive cycles of compulsiveness is coming because there are various types of memories in the system. So there's a huge volume of memory, karmic memory, genetic memory, mental and psychological memory, every kind. If this memory was not there, your body wouldn't even take a form. Your body knows that it has to take this form. When you are in your mother's womb, so many billions of people on the planet, everybody took this form, two legs, two hands, two eyes, like this. If the memory was not there, we do not know what form it would have taken. It never ever happened that a woman delivered an elephant or an insect or a <laughs> something else. It never ever happened. Memory means past. If memory is the only thing, if information that you carry, which is memory, is the only thing which determines the nature of who you are right now, that means you are past or life is past you. There is no real life, it's just a play of memory. If you go and watch a cinema, it's so big and so real, more real than the real. It becomes a bigger reality than reality because it's so exaggerated. But all this is just memory being played out. It's recorded. It's already over. Yesterday you loved somebody. With that memory you are living today. Yesterday you disliked somebody. With that memory you are living today. So you are trying to live that which is over. If you try to live that which is over, that which is will bypass you. So yoga means to liberate yourself from that information which determines who I am right now. That information which determines the color of my skin, that information which determines the shape of my body, that information should not determine how I think, how I feel, how I experience my life. But unfortunately, it is. So if you become like this, that that information does not determine how you are right now, then you are moving into yoga. So daily working, daily morning sadhana is just this, to slowly, gradually, to create the distance from that information. You don't have to lose it. People say, I want to forget. If you forget, you will once again do the same idiotic things all over again. This is not about forgetfulness, but being able to carry. See, suppose today you have memory sticks. 
If it's all the time plugged in and all of it playing, you'll go crazy. You can carry it in your pocket, no problem. When you want, you stick it in your computer, otherwise you put it in your pocket, this is good, no problem. Memory is still there, but not compulsively working through you. When you want, consciously you can activate it, otherwise it lies there. Then once that freedom comes, memory is not a problem. But right now memory is a problem because it's playing up all the time. It will not allow you to experience what is today. It will not allow you any possibility of life. It will just keep on, you are like a broken record, just going on the same thing. I dislike this person, I dislike this person. Only yesterday you disliked him. Today it's not necessary to dislike him. The memory is playing up and saying, I dislike him, I dislike him. Whether you like him or you dislike him, both ways, it is an old record playing, which will not allow you any perception unless you begin to perceive life in larger and larger doses. There is really no experience of life, just mind playing over and over, same record. So yoga means breaking the cycle and nature will not release you from that, just like that. It needs a certain amount of work. I'm not saying it's difficult, but it needs to be worked at. The sadhana is just about this. However simple the sadhana is, every day if it is worked at, slowly one can see a certain level of freedom happening within you step by step, maybe inch by inch, maybe micro millimeter by a micro millimeter, but nobody can say it is not releasing you it will slowly release you. If you want to go rapidly, a lot more to do. You don't mind going slowly, something to do. So tomorrow morning, sadhana.